And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Front Mission DS, the OCU campaign. I'm your uh, LP for today, capital G. And we're going to get ourselves some mission intel here, become a little bit smarter, more knowledgeable, increase our IQ by 150 points so we can join Menza. Obviously, maybe not that last bit, but yeah. Anyway, here's our stats and wait, Greek? Was he one of those dudes from the red suits that we battled a few a few episodes back? Wow, okay, that's not a good sign. He's only level 12 though. We've far exceeded that already. Mainly because we kicked his team's ass. But we'll be seeing him again this mission. So, let's jump right into it. Fort Monus. Looks like the army's having a rough time. No surprise, our army sucks shit. That and the UCS is fighting hardcore this time. They kind of have to. It is their last line of defense. If Fort Monus falls, then in theory, this should be over. After I should be alright. You haven't been properly qualified as a Sea King pilot. Who do you think I am? Santa Claus. An angry, balded set of claws. That's who I think you are. It's the beard, dude. It's the beard. Get rid of the beard and up. Uh, him. Demetrius. Of course I do. I want revenge. Of course you want revenge, but you know this Discall dude. You know that evil emo dude. Evil emo. Spell that out one word, this should look cool. Evil Emo. They've beaten you once, will you be able to handle them? No you won't. You think you can, but you won't be able to. You will not be able to, my friend. Or for however you want to put this, he's like, The Sea King is operational! What do you know of it? Oh, so we know, so you recognize that weapons platform. It's Kata's newest mobile weapon model. It's big, but it can move as fast as a Vosnir. Okay. Sakata. What? Raiji, what do you know? Why does that name keep coming up? You know something. Out with it. Seriously. So yeah, we get to choose a lot of people for this one. Not everybody. Unfortunately, I've got like 14 to choose from, and I have to pick, I have to pick three not to fight about stuff. But I think we we'll go to this crew. Like, the only one that's easy to leave out, of course, is Molly. Ugh, hate Molly. Bum. I'm hating her less and less, but... I'm certainly not gonna put her on my team anytime soon. Anyways, just a little scouting around here. Um, there are highways and bridges, so we want to spread out the troops a bit here because we're going to get bottlenecked very easily. And of course, their initial front line's got a whole bunch of missileers, so I have to be careful that uh, I don't have a die ganged up on while I'm uh, advancing. That'd be a serious problem. Beast. Oh yes. So what's new? Not too, too much. Uh, joined another Let's Play group. It's a smaller, it's a... There's a lot of ex, well, not so much expats for the Let's Play Sanctuary because... Actually, it is called Let's Play Sanctuary. I'm getting them mixed up. It is called Let's Play Sanctuary. But, um, there's some, there's, there's some I've seen before in other groups, for example. And they all, like formed and came to this one because it's so much Well they find it they, they find it's easy to communicate with each other. Uh, what happens is that when you is that uh so that's something I've noticed. You always have like more dominant figures in these groups. Like you'll have one guy like posting all the time and seeming like the smartest shit in the world. And he could very well be. Doesn't mean that he doesn't know his stuff. I'm just going to use a chaff grenade here because chances are she'll get targeted by missiles being the first person there. I 
So yeah, as I was saying, uh, that's that group would be a, it's an awesome little place. Um, Simplify the forms. It's not about uh, if you want feedback, you can post the video there. But it's not about spamming your videos and posting like I've got a new video. Come check it out. Da da da. I mean, I'm guilty of it too, especially on uh, on the Google Plus group that I'm on. But well, I'm not. I'm just saying. Like, I'm well, actually. I just say here it is. Hope you enjoy it. But. At least this way, like, you're putting up an LP and it's not like... You put it up in the morning and then by the end of the day it's disappeared off the front page kind of thing. You know, you don't have to worry about that or stress out about that. I'm just gonna end our turn early here. Let's, uh, let's see some movement from the enemy. I have nothing exciting, just a chap grenade. Look. And they advance, and they advance, and they advance, and they open fire. No surprise there. So that's actually going according to plan. Um, okay, never mind then. Ah, oh, it's right, usually that's fine. You can take it. His defense is just so high. It's like even all the offensive power he's got, his dodge is still very high, close to 1800. And actually, that's something I'm gonna. Tr I won't start with this battle, but in the near future, I'm gonna have to start focusing a lot more on his dodging. Try and make him like untouchable. Not just super powerful, but untouchable. Kaboom! Because look how powerful that is. Just blew away in one shot. Like it was just nothing. And new, uh, new body part too. So I'm like, yes. So all you can say about that is yes. And like I said, with someone as powerful as Ryuji on the team, it's now a case of trying to balance out everyone else, because if ever I get into a really hard battle where Ryuji could fall, well, that won't be good for me. Won't be good for me, that's for sure. If Ryuji would fall, then everyone else would fall down like dominoes. So definitely want to get everybody up to par on offense and defense, and well, that's definitely going to help. The fastest way to level people up is to take out body parts. Body parts, arms, and legs. Because for each part you blow up, you get more experience. Now, it's harder with melee, because melee you're only hitting ever one thing, and there's no ability to control what you're hitting. So you can't punch them in the shoulder or anything like you can aiming at their arm with this, or their body, or whatever. Four hit points left. And I've got Bobby going the other way. Like, I'd have Bobby come and do the cleanup on that so he can level up. At least have a second offensive force in that sense. Although, again, with Bobby, I definitely need to, uh. Definitely need to boost his dodge, because. He's died a lot already. Not so much died, but. Like, his suit's been blown up a lot. Even though he, it shouldn't be. He's actually, it's actually solid Vasner build. It's just wrong place, wrong time. Gets targeted, and boom, blown away. All I can all I really do here is move everyone closer. Let the bottleneck commence, kind of thing. Keep the truck away from the missiles. Definitely don't want that being targeted. Spread out the rest of the team, and we should be good to go with this. And most of the people do absolutely nothing. Like I doesn't. Did a significant something to Keith there. That's right, I said significant something. Significant something. Where did I come up with that one? Anyways. Here come the missiles, Bobby's been targeted, Raiji's been targeted. But everybody's fine. Everybody's fine, there's not enough uh, missiles flying around to do any serious, serious damage. It's like, okay, who do I go with? Who do I go with? That's right, this, the, the team is too big. The team is too big. Now it's a case if I gotta. 
start a fight with someone here and take some pressure off. Harunga, nice, nice fresh hook there. Giving Harunga those unarmed, uh, those those strong unarmed strikes is paying off. I like it. Gets a suit defensive style too. It stands out from everyone else's. Uh, I think the options are starting to get to the point where I could probably, like anyone who's using rods, I could probably take off the rods at some point. Depending on the stats of the armor, of course. There you go, we, got, uh, we just blew off this alarm, so he won't be firing off anything at us. Just melee strikes for him. Usually we're just gonna clear we're just gonna do some damage to him. Let the target left arm. Doesn't matter, I like to vouch left arm, right arm, legs. Oh nice! This is I didn't know. If you select uh, if you select an option when you duel, then you get to uh, select another one. If you get the uh, two weapon attack. I like that. Here comes Natalie trying to improve her uh, short range. And there's Keith definitely improving his short range. Two parts blown up. Two parts blown up. Nice to done, Keith. Everyone else is. They're also spread out. They're making this easy for me here. Target the track. Target the track. I don't want these guys repairing their parts. And a little bit of melee action for Paul. Boost up his secondary attack, shall we say? Certainly needs it. I mean, even with two sets of missile launchers, he only has six shots. Eventually, he's gonna have to rely on his melee. So it's good to get that going. Of course, then again, I keep saying that, like, Level two or three different things, but I usually it's you level up one thing and go to go go. And just becomes so powerful that he can walk over everybody. Oh nice! First. So he's got all three melee abilities. Stun double and first. Now first is awesome because then well, it's just that. He strikes first in battle. That's a pretty good level too, so it can't be superseded by somebody else's first. Not so easily anyways. Where to go, where to go, bring the truck over here. I usually will need some repairs, he's taking some damage from those missiles. I want to need a little bit of healing, but... So far so good. Oh, gotta be careful of keep trying to keep him out of fire for a while. Well, the asset wears off. Asset, uh, for those that don't remember, lowers the defense stat. So any punch, any bullet, any missile that hits him, will be a lot more potent. A lot more potent. So yeah, time to advance. We're gonna finish off this truck, maybe. Yes. Trucks don't reward a lot of XP, but I like taking them out because they're usually armed with a very strong gun. I just don't want to deal with that. And we've got one, two, three of them up there. It's so tempting to like go up and mix it up, but not alone because she'll get hammered. Shield or no shield, she'll get hammered if she goes up. We'll just send people up. Now Grigori I'm keeping as my like screamily bot because he just looks scary. Bobby gets a clean up here. Nice. Now it's gonna boost his stat, he's up to 39. I think he's still strong at 39, or Yuji is closer to eight or nine thousand at this point. Just in his ranged. And he's about, sorry, he's short range. I wonder if it's time for me to give him a missile. 
like his thing is his uh, short range is so powerful that I might even just give him another weapon. It's tempting. Actually, I, I do really want him to dodge more. Like that's what I want to really like level up for him. Right that punch, nicely done. Just like a little training mission on a stun target over there. We're usually looking to clean up. Now let's just take out his missile so he doesn't fire that off at anybody. That's right, like each of his bullets are doing 70 something damage now. And his short range is maxed out. His short range is maxed out. So yeah, in case I'm not going to use any of those items, nothing uh, particularly useful for him at the, at the moment. You know what, I've got everybody close enough now. I think anyways, should I? Nah. But let's slow them down a little, give us some time to get everyone in position and then just swoop in. Won't be long. We are all right there in that intersection of doom. I'm just gonna repair uh, Paul's legs here. Or not even. Just get into position. It's just a positional move. Flamethrower for blowing up the part. Good. Although I'm not so sure if I'm a huge fan of the flamethrowers. We're slightly better than what we had already, but... And Bobby, of course, is in trouble again. It's like anytime Bobby gets attacked, he takes damage to the body. I don't get it. But that was a nice dodge. Three missiles just swooping by, missing. And, oh no, three more missiles coming his way. Not only one hit, at least it wasn't the body, so. There you go, Bobby's the target. Again. It's like, it's like he's got a reputation as a shit disturber or something. I don't know. It's, he gets targeted a lot. It's like the game is trying to keep me from making him as powerful as Ryuji. Now, like... I do want to make that happen, though, because if, uh... Well, he's got his arm completely knocked off there. Yipes. But seriously, it's a case of if I get him as powerful as Ryuji anyways, then it's like, there really is death. Like, brother's in death at that point. But well, we're gonna have some people back up Bobby here, cause he took a beating. Took a beating, and he can finally gain some uh, missile practice. If there's anything I can say, you do want a lot of people that can fire off missiles. Because uh, it's easy to get crowded. Kaboom! Nicely done, alright. It's easy to get crowded. So by having more people with missiles, then you can just fire away at a distance. Take less damage. And once it softens up, move in and wipe them out. How many people do I have with missiles just in this battle alone? Got Keith, got Bobby, Ian, Paul, Trojan Man, Roid. That's six already. Uh, Natalie doesn't have missiles, but she's got a ranged weapon, so technically seven. Um, who am I missing? It's one other person that does. There's at least one other person that does, so I've got nine people that have got missiles. The only ones that don't are Gregorio, who doesn't need no fucking missiles. As he just pooed right there. And of course Ryuji. Doesn't have missiles, doesn't need missiles. 
So yeah, Bobby pull Bobby's gonna pull back. Not too far. We'll go over here. Repair. Should probably take pulling back further. Move the supply truck over, move Thunder Snow over. I'm not gonna engage him. I need to give everyone else a chance to uh, level up here, so I'm not going to engage him. Okay, maybe this guy, because he's, he's in an annoying position. Let's just clear him right out. Boom! From here on in, it's only if I need him. At this point, I really don't. And I just undid, undid the complete repair that I made. I should have pulled him back further. That's the struggles that come with uh, dealing with a wise that's been targeted th that way. And the enemy going on the offensive here, strong offensive. Here we go, took some, uh, took some big damage from that. Not a huge fan of the damage you just took there, but it'll be fine. Oh, now it's time to take some pressure off Bobby here. Boom! Blew off an arm there. Nice. Disarm him as fast as possible. Because once he's disarmed, he'll be down to the point of just being annoying. He won't actually be able to do damage. Same with that guy, trying to clear him out. Under pressure. It's not that much pressure, considering how many guys I have. Like, all right there, ready to just, like, fight their way out. Here comes Mayua. That's who I was getting. Mayua's also got the, the rockets, so she was the ninth one. And we have our walrus. And we've got our Trojan Man. Who's gonna move first? Looks like it'll be Trojan Man. Just sort of step up, maybe beside the truck so he can get his arm back. Nah, we need some offense. So let's just clear this guy out. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Done. Duns. Like, his stats are still actually very low. Both his uh, short and his uh, range are on 50,000. It's going to take a lot more battle experience to get that boosted up. A lot more. Yeah. And Gregory with the obvious move. Getting repairs. But staying right in the thick of things. That's just how he rolls. And Bobby retreats. Or does he? He does. Having some controller issues here. Sorry. Ding. And we got this guy over here and there's nobody else behind him. So let's just step up and punch him in the face. Boom. Ronga, our one-armed bandit. Because he's got an arm and he's got a gun. Nihin, aww. Oh. Like, if that was Bobby or Ryuji, he would have gotten the cleanup kill there, but... Nihin isn't there yet. And, uh, yeah. Paul's gonna open fire on, uh, on this guy here with a chaff missile! Chaffing with Goyo. Because he's in the thick of things, he's probably going to get hit. And piranga has got no legs left. So Piranga is going to need some backup. He's actually losing that fist fight. Didn't expect him to lose. But then again, there is a, a fair amount of luck in this game. And there's the Sea King. Coming very, very close. I have to be careful. Like, I do not know how strong that weapon is or how good he is with it. So I definitely want to avoid. 
Natalie with the first volley there. Softens up the arms. Although Natalie should be doing more cleanup work at this point. She wants to uh, really be the beast that I made her out to be. <laughs> no, Natalie is my beast. She will be my beast. Always my beast. No god, let's just throw the damage out there and see what we get. Boom. Nice, blew off that arm. That's the thing with God, it's like you can target one arm, but if you don't need to hit it with one missile instead of three, then you have to decide if it's better to target it and be sure you blow it up, or if you just want to say no guide and hope one of those three shots hits it. In this case it hits, so I'm like, yes. There's that seeking. I want to keep a whole bunch of missiles for that. Yeah, I don't know how strong that is. It could be very, very powerful, in fact. Dong. Does he want to go in there? That's a, that's a nice little spot, but we'll see what other, what other damage we can do first. Here comes Bobby with some cleanup kill. Boom. There we go. He's broken 4100. His, his uh, short range stat is rising in a hurry. That's good to see. Very good to see. I should have let you can get that kill, because I do need him to be stronger. If I want to play with him. Well play put his suit into play more often. And for storyline purposes I want to keep him there. Boom! Blew up him. Like a no bullshit kill. Because I don't want to have to deal with. If uh, the other guy going down, the other guy. Obviously, I should never record first thing in the morning. Too tired for this shit. <laughs> Here comes Keith. What does he want to do? He's only got one one set of missiles left. Ah, we'll repair the arm. Let's repair the arm. Keep him on reserve in case I need to fire off those missiles at the Sea King. I mean, you were getting some big damage done. Taking a hit for it, but that's okay. And now Gregorio is in. Boom. Miss. Gregorio. Oh, yeah. He got hit by smoke grenade, so I shouldn't be surprised that he missed. But I, I kind of had to try. Well, I don't have to, but. It was better to try. You know what? We are walking over the UCS hardcore here. So, I'm not afraid to keep advancing. When I say hardcore, I think, yeah, this, he's retreating. Greg is retreating. Where's he going? Which way are you going, Greg? Someone who wanted revenge, he's not being very aggressive. He's not like stepping up and opening fire or anything. He's running away! Neil at two punches for the kill. Boom. So, where are we at here? Where are we at? Oh, we're definitely at a stage of domination, and we are also. This one's also dragging a little bit, my apologies. It's a long battle, but then again, it is the last stand for the UCS, basically. Because Fort Monus falls, everything else falls for the UCS. Such is the hope and the theory. But will it actually be the end? We shall see, because we still need to find Evil Emo. That Evil Emo. That stupid plot haired freaky person. And you still have to find uh, our red hit hotness. So, this could be the last major battle of the war, but it's definitely not the end of our story. Like, even Pee Wee knows his last major battle of the war, so he's getting some action in. Just, you know, just like poke, 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 poke. 
with his like stupid cheap machine gun. At least like each round does a minimum of one damage. It would suck if I if you kept shooting and nothing did damage. That's actually an ability they've put in later games, come think of it. It's called block damage, and if uh you get hit by a weapon. Say you have block damage 30 and you get hit by machine guns and shows rounds that's like well less than 30 points of damage. You take zero from each round. Very, very powerful ability. It doesn't work all the time. It goes off at random, but it can save your suit in those later games. I know Front Mission 4 had it, I don't remember if Front Mission 3 had it. Ah, but so be it. Do play those games. I know Front Mission 3 is available on, uh... Fast forward time, by the way! I know Front Mission 3 is available on, uh... PlayStation Network. And Front Mission 4 is easy enough to find in stores still. So yeah, fast forward, just gonna get our kills here, because... The Sea King, look where it ran to. All the way around. So, Greek, get ready. Got the Sea King on one end, we got this random guy here in the middle. And we got the truck on the far on the other side. So, yeah, just missiles, missiles, and more missiles. Open fire. This platform stuff, though, it starts with like 1400 HP, and you gotta take it all out. And a little flash grenade to keep him from attacking. Can't do shit. Can't do shit. So who's gonna step up? Boom, let's see if we can get a kill here, at least a lot of damage. Dead unk. Crows, you'll bleed for what you did to my man. Oh, so it literally is Angian, wow. Actually, that weapon isn't so powerful. Like, it'd be powerful against something that was more softened up, but he had full health, so he was able to eat that, no problem. Byzant 2 arm, nice. More weapons, more arms. More experience, and... Paul. Will he get the kill here? He's in range. Paul does get the kill. Stop moving, you runs. It can move as fast as the Wesner, but it was just outnumbered. It was swarmed, and Fort Monus has fallen. The victory is ours. Well said, aviator glasses. Well said. So yeah, in our next episode, we are going to have a chance to explore Fomonis. And spend all our hard-earned dime. I shall see you later.